Peace. We're back. Um, and we're going to talk about this one here. Uh, did you all want to say anything? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this one here. This is this is the last one on this wall. And this is a, the last one that's in my space that was that was um that was shot in DC. This was taken in Rock Creek Park. The bouquet the bouquet was taken by uh the client who I was shooting on this day. Um at that time was a client was the client was the client, but now um, I mean, after this day became, uh, what I would consider like a good friend. Um, and like this picture, what this picture reminds me of is just like, uh, this friend and like what she has the capacity to do. And then like what she continues to do is just like brings beautiful things together and shows you how, Things that are beautiful on their own can be beautiful in um, connection to other beautiful things. Like she taught me, she taught me how to like build a, how to like make bouquets, um, a skill that I still use to this day to like build bouquets. Um, I guess, so it reminds me of that, but then also the, like the walk that we had and like this is like one of my first times like walking through Rock Creek Park, um, and I remember the walk because like I was out of shape, but like I wasn't good at breathing when I walked, and so like after you walk up a flight of steps and you're like trying to prove to other people that you're not out of breath, so you like hold your breath so they don't hear you breathing hard. That was me for the majority of the walk, but like she was doing it in um, an orange, uh, I guess it was a Hanifa dress, orange dress. She had on heels at one point, one point she was barefoot. Uh, I guess it was like boot, like the boot heels or something like that. But then like she was doing it in that and like, I'm, you know, fucking sweatpants, sweatshirt uh, with like some sneakers on. And like, she's fucking kicking my ass walking on this hike but like still um the same the same energy that I put into taking these photos of like structures is the same energy that I put into taking uh, taking photos of people and like really taking the time to like really see them um really see them shine to really see them like in these moments and pockets of peace. And so I really enjoyed this shoot because like she took me to like her favorite place and it was for her birthday shoot. And she took me to her favorite place um, and just like seeing her in her element. And like some of the photos that we took from the photo shoot that are hers to share, just like her in her element, feeling, feeling lost, like, like not, lost like she doesn't know where she is but just like want this like wandering this wandering in her space and I was just there to capture her in, in her space in her element and like that was that's one thing that I really like about taking pictures of people in spaces in which they feel comfortable is like man being able to like experience people in the places that they enjoy is like oh man that's like that's one of the top feelings because like so many times we we encounter people in spaces that they don't enjoy like we meet people at work or like but being one being invited into a place where someone else finds rest being invited into a place where someone finds peace and then being invited to capture that um it's just, I don't know, it's very humbling for me that people will want me there and then that people will want me to capture those moments for them. Um, and so, like, 
yeah, that was for me, that was a, a wonderful experience and like um very grateful that we had that we had that experience. Um and then this is one of the photos that I take from that experience. And like for one, I think I think I said I, I shared this with her, but like if this print gets sold, um, which I don't know. This isn't one that has been sold yet. But if this print gets sold, uh, yeah, she definitely gets fifty percent of like the the income from this one. Like no contract needed, but because you know, yeah, you don't need a contract when you're a man of your word. But yeah, she definitely gets fifty uh, percent because she made the made the bouquet. Um, but still, like this was this was still in my indie filter time and like yeah I mess with the colors I mess with the uh yeah the colors the, like the I, I don't know man <laughs> if I was making a bouquet I wouldn't have put these flowers together but I'm glad that she did in this way and that we were able to capture it in the way that we captured it um so grateful for that time grateful that for that experience and that's just one of the reasons that I really love photography is like when you look at a picture, you can really get um, the moments or the feelings that were there. Um, so, yeah, that's yeah, that's really all. I just checked the time to see how long I've been talking. But, yeah, that's really what that's really why this one is in, a part of this collection that's being sold is because like. This reminds me of a time when someone invited me to a place where they felt where they felt safe, where they felt peace and a place where they continually find rest and allow me to capture them in this space. And like, damn, I'm even getting emotional thinking about it right now. Cause like, how often do we get to be invited in these, into these places as a, as someone who doesn't take away from those things, but like can add or maybe not even add, but like just doesn't take away from those things enough that you would invite them into that space where you feel these things. Um, so, so very grateful that I, that, that we were able to, to share that experience together. Um, so yeah. And as usual, don't forget people, places and things, including yourself. Uh, I butchered it. I'm going to start over. I like the way that I say it the other way. People, places, and things uh, don't have to be perfect to be enjoyed, including yourself. Peace.